Their aim is to Islamize Nigeria and practice Sharia law. As Navy Commando Kunle Olaumi speaks about bandits, their aim is to Islamize Nigeria and practice Sharia law. That is what he said on um, Daily Trust. Um, news of the attack on the Nigerian Defense Academic and the A Cardinal State by bandits on Tuesday elicited reaction on social media platform. According to reports from Premium Times. The bandits came in large numbers in the early hours of Tuesday and attacked the military facility, killing two officers and abducting another senior officers. A former Navy commando, Kunle Olaumi, while on Channel's television program Sunrise Daily, revealed what he thinks about bandits are about to do in Nigeria. According to him, he stated that what the bandits are doing is to send a message to create fear and to show the military that they are well equipped to come for them. Kunle Olaumi disclosed that the officer who was abducted on Tuesday has been killed and it was not about ransom. He further stated that bandits intend to Islamize Nigeria and practice Sharia law and it doesn't matter to them even if lives are lost. So far, they achieved their aim here what they had to say well he has said it all already we all know that is their aim and that is what they have been trying to do in nigeria without you even telling us we have already seen the handwriting on the wall we can see what is exactly happening in the country because if that is not the case then why aren't the president saying anything about these whole killings of bandits in the country whenever a full animal is killed they will all rise to their toe and they will start screaming injustice injustice but when they, when other people are killed with other um with other tribes they will keep mute and act as if they don't know what is happening well let's go to the comment section and hear people's take on this article here is what abu abdul kadil hamad has to say hmm. Islamine, islamization of multi-religious multicultural etc nigeria how fascinating how fascinable rather he said this is just possible in the eyes of religious bygones who wants to be relevant and playing to the um, gallery time will tell when the change of political leaders takes place the departure of pmb in 2023 where the second term ends the narrative will shamelessly be changed yeah yeah they smell for your head which 2023 takes over who told you that? Can't you read the handwriting clearly the, on the wall? Buhari is holding over the jihadist, the Boko Haram simple. That is if the requinished power in 2023. That is if Fulanization and Islamization plans are not executed before 2023. That is if he does not install another terrorist as president. We are watching. Hmm. I don't expect this from a commander. There is no way bandits will know the fate of those army. People they kidnap, they probably want to cause mayhem in the DNDA, trying to tell Nigerian government they are everywhere. Now there is no way they will Islamize the whole country. They met people with their culture and way of life. Let them be Islamized let them be islamized the north the way they want and leave other region to enjoy their peace you are dreaming afghanistan story will happen in nigeria it's already happening hmm it takes take it or leave it whenever islamist or rebel plans to take over military is their first line of attack so that they can be Abmoralized, okay, or they so that they can be demoralized, okay. Uh, my by God's grace, they will utterly fail in Jesus' name, amen. To that, the mortal man cannot fight God and succeed. Paul tried it and failed. God, Nigeria is God's country, and no man, no matter how the place, can undo God's program for Nigeria. Nigerian fear not, live sinful living pray to god of heaven he will soon cut down the enemies of nigeria nigeria has been in existence before they were born and they will probably and they will probably we 
outlive them please let us keep on praying for god's intervention for nigeria our country don't be discouraged nigeria must be great again hmm because the almighty god is on the throne amen to that and i join my faith with yours that's all this banditry all this killing will come to an end soon in nigeria that is my prayer yes yeah, so not by minds not by power it is by the spirit of god same prayer said by Sultan Kaduna Sians before they were they were and still being slaughtered, Jesus. Oh God, you know they there, that's why you they talk. If you still did there, they gave you appointments, you go short top your mouth, they chop your money, JJ Abi, you think say we no no. Ha God, you know where sad uh she be na you we no they collect money if you are a lucky if you are lucky to get an appointment pack your job if you don't have anything to say wow we do not need to fight about what is their agenda they can leave it islamized state and those at the eastern part eastern part of their own christian state at biafra will stand wow this one is already saying it's okay everyone is really really angry and people are sharing that on this people are so angry with the level of insecurity in the country so i wouldn't blame the man for saying what he's saying because he also saying it's based on the things that are happening in the country nobody should be afraid we want to do this different from from we have done it what they is what is what they want however god hasn't given them that power i shall I say this because I heard it from the one that is and what and was at is to come. Hmm. Okay, oh, the civil war have started according to Hamad Gumi of Kaduna State. It's, this civil war is between the Fulani North and other tribes because they are killing every other tribes. There is only one tribe left of the killing other than Fulanis. So why are we folding our hands and allow this nonsense to continue hmm that's my own question oh why are we allowing this whole thing to continue why are we allowing these people to keep on killing innocent people in nigeria but breaking into defense academic headquarters is possible with muslims and your neighbors hmm. they can do anything with careful planning exactly what they are doing they are trying to make those defense if those people in defense academy to understand that they can do anything they can do it anywhere and anytime they want that is what they're trying to make them understand that they are above the law and they can conquer nda if they feel like that is what they that is the message well you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article